Welcome back to starting out with Web API. My name is Alex Louie. Today what I want to show you is how to pass in parameters in a controller and creating a resource which you can pass in arguments and it will compute a value. Very simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into your controllers folder and you want to add, let's add a new controller. So if we right click on controllers, we do add and we do controller. Now what we're going to choose is we're going to choose Web API to controller and it's going to be an empty controller. And now we have the ability to rename our controller. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this to my test controller. You should always leave controller intact because MVC is all about convention over configuration. So we have naming conventions in MVC where you must leave this as controller. So you click on add. And there you go. You'll have a test controller within your project. Now the other thing you want to do is you want to mark this as a route prefix. So we'll have our URL which will be initially localhost and then you'll have a route prefix for this particular controller. For example, if we do an attribute and we say route prefix API and we will name this my test. So what that means is that if you have a URL, so suppose you have a URL called http colon slash slash www.services.com and in order for me to reach this controller I have to do slash API and slash my test. Now this will not do anything because you don't have any methods that represent any resources that will actually do anything for you. But we are defining the route prefix path for this particular test controller. So the next thing we want to do is we want to define a method for this controller. And that's how API works where you'll have multiple methods for individual tasks that you want to do for each controller. So one controller will be the parent controller and then you have methods that will be part of that controller. And I, I will show you how to use more than one method. So the first thing we want to do when writing a method is identify if it's actually identify if it's it's uh, HTTP verb. You either want to say if it's a get, it's a put, is it a post. So for simple explanation and we can use a browser with this, we can use an HTTP get. That should be capital. So what, that's one attribute. The second attribute we want to define is the route for this method. What we want to say is, let's say, compute addition. Okay. So if we define our method, uh, and I will explain the action result in a second. is we want to define this method with the same name in terms of convention, right? Because remember I told you, convention over configuration. So this method name has to match your resource URL. So now for the API itself, we have a resource method like the following. So you have my test, which represents my controller, and then you have compute addition. So compute addition belongs to this controller and compute addition will call this method. Now the other thing we want to do is we want to add parameters. So let's see if we can add two parameters to add two numbers. So the way you do that in Web API is you will do a forward slash and then you will have an open bracket and let's just call it num1 and we call this num2 
So the format of this is this is going to be your variable name of the parameter. And this will also be the variable name of the parameter. And if you're doing numeric input, you have to use the numeric data types. For example, for this one, I'm using integer, which is int. If I wanted a double, I would do double. Okay. Don't forget that within each parameter, after the resource method name, you have to put a open bracket and then a close bracket. If you do this and you forget, you're going to get an error. So now that we've defined our parameters, we got to take this name and copy it within here and define it. So int num1 and int num2. Convention over configuration. So this has to match the name that you put in here. The next thing I wanted to explain is the return type of this method and the way that I have done it, and you can you don't have to do it this way, is to return a result of IHTTP action results. So what this does is it gives us the ability to return HTTP status codes. Have you ever heard of or ever visited a site where you get a 500 error or a 404 error? With Web API, we because we're dealing with HTTP, using this return type, we have the ability to return status codes along with our response message. So the first thing I want to show you is how to return the sum. So I will say return. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to return an OK status. And that's very easy. You can say OK. And then say num1 plus num2. What I could also do is I can say int sum is equal to sum1 plus sum2. And this will be sum, sorry, this will be num. And this should return a sum with an OK status of 200. Because that's, that's how HTTP protocol works. You do a request, which is a get. And then the response is up to us to send back a response. So by using this interface, we can return a whole bunch of different status codes back, depending on what you want to do. So if I run this on Chrome, we're running on localhost. So what we want to do is we want to access our controller resource. So our controller resource is identified by API my test. So we take that, we copy that over here, and then we want to actually hit this method to compute the addition. So what I would do is do compute addition. And now how do you pass in parameters within the URL? And it's very easy. You take the same format here, okay, but you're just going to replace whatever is in the square bracket, the little brackets, with numbers. So let's say I want to add 10 and 60. Okay. So if I do 10, 60, I should re get returned back a 70. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I forgot the um, forward slash. So if I do that, it's got to be a forward slash after API. And there you see that's a 70. Okay. So now we have the ability to pass in parameters to our URL. And I'm using a get because it's easier for me to use is through the browser. Okay. Now if I want to write another method, okay, I can show you that in my next video. So that's it for this one. I will sh next video I will show you how to add more methods and I will even show you how to add another controller. Uh, for Web API.